Okay, the first one that I want to talk about is Somewhere in Time. I love this movie. It's with Christopher Reeve and Jane Seymour. And he learns how to time travel from a professor at a college he goes to. And he really wants to meet this lady. And he was able to do it. They fall in love. I don't want to give away the end if you haven't seen this movie. But this is a beautiful story. I love this movie. In fact, Derek introduced me to this movie, if you can believe it. So I think this is... Um, uh, a really good one for your collection, but I, I enjoyed this one a lot, so this one's a good. Next is A Girl with the Pearl Earring with Colin Firth and the beautiful Scarlett Johansson. Um, I love this period piece as well. Um, you, they made a story behind the painting The Girl with the Pearl Earring, and um, I really enjoy this, this movie as well. Of course, it has Colin Firth, so hello. Okay, I love Sense and Sensibility. I had a hard time reading Sense and Sensibility and really following along with it, but uh, I enjoyed the movies, and it sure made reading it again a little bit easier. Um, but I love Jane Austen. love her, and I love her books. And so this one is the BBC video version, and it's really good. Um, I like the twist that they do on it versus the Hollywood version. But my go-to one that I just want to have a girl's complete moment with is the Hollywood version. Um, but I do enjoy this one as well. There's, it's just a different take. And I like the, the take they take on this one and I like the take they take on this one. Um, they're both great and I love them. And I, But I, I do like Willoughby more in this one than this one. Um, but again, they take the take of Willoughby a little bit different on here. But I love Sets and Sensibility. Love it. Okay. Jane Eyre. Love Jane Eyre. I love the book. I've read it several times. I own it. Um, I love Jane Eyre. And it's funny. Derek calls it Jane R. <laughs> He's like, you're watching Jane R. Like a pirate. He's such a dork. I love it. I love you, Derek. Okay. This one is my favorite. Um, I have seen pretty much all of the versions and this has is my favorite I love um, I love the acting that this this um, this girl does I love how her feeling in it and a little bit more and I, and I really enjoy mr. Rochester in this one he's good to look at <laughs> and I like this version of it I love this movie oh okay Next is Persuasion. Um, I enjoy the book, and I love um, the BBC version. Um, of course, the actor here, um, I don't know his name. Uh, Rupert, P Rupert Penry Jones. He's, <laughs> he's gorgeous. Um, I really like this version of it. It's... Um, Definitely different than um, than the first version that I fell in love with, um, but I love them equally. I really don't know which one I love better. That's how much I love both of them. So um, I love how it pulls at your heart. Like you want them, you want him to show her a little bit more, you know, attention or. But his heart is so broken, but he does love her. Oh, I love the story of persuasion. It pulls at my heart. And so I, I can't decide which one I love more. I love them. Okay. Um, this one is one that I had picked up recently. It has eight films in it. I love it when you could buy something that will have more than one video in it. And it comes with Restoration, The Ideal Husband, which is... This movie here, Love Ideal Husband. It has um, Rupert, what's his name? Rupert Everett in it. And Julianne Moore and Kate Blanchett. That is a fun movie to watch. I highly recommend it. That's a good one. But it has, you know, um, besides that, it has um, Her Majesty, Mrs. Brown, Tom and Vive, A Month of the Lake, The Englishman, Who Went Up a Hill But Came Down a mountain sweet revenge that was funny it's not very that one's not like a timepiece one in my life so far so there's a few timepiece ones and there's a few that are not but very English and I enjoy yeah 
I have enjoyed them. So I have that. And then Becoming Jane. I love this movie. It's a take on Jane Austen in her life. <laughs> Hi. Um, and I love the, um, the actors in it. And uh, I really enjoy Anne Hathaway. She's brilliant in this movie. And um, James McVoy. I, oh, yeah, I enjoyed this movie a lot. I love her, their, you know, a take on the real Jane Austen. I, I know they tried to stick close to her story, uh, but of course it is Hollywood, but I enjoy this one immensely. Okay, Dad. yeah. So this is Lost in Austin. And there's a pic of it. Derek burned it for me. Um, this is a wonderful movie. Um, I love, it's like this girl gets like transported back in the time of the book. And Jane, or Elizabeth, is stuck in her time period. And she ends up falling in love with, with um, Mr. Darcy. And she, but she's trying to fix the story because it's all jumbled. Because... Um, 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 Mr. Darcy's friend, oh, Bingley, he falls in love with her, and she's like, no, you're supposed to fall in love with, with, uh, Jean. it's hilarious, I love this movie, my mom loves it too, such a good take, it's a joy to watch, and of course, Pride and Prejudice, I just bought this out of the five dollar bin, I was so excited, so, um, but I've seen, I've borrowed my mother-in-law's version and watched this version on Netflix a ton of times. I love Pride and Prejudice. It's the first story that I fell in love with, with um, Jane Austen. And I, I enjoy this version. It's definitely different than our all-time favorite. I know you ladies love it. The Colin Firth version. Oh, so good. Um, this is a two-disc one. But this take is so different. And I love the ending with Mr. Darcy. I love the ending, and I'm not going to tell you. You have to watch it. But I fell in love with this version of Pride and Prejudice. When I first watched it, I didn't understand a word that they were saying. Like, I didn't know the flow. It was before I really started reading Jane Austen's books. So the language, I was like, what are they saying? When, um, when his aunt, um, Catherine de Bourgh comes and like chews out Elizabeth in the garden. I was like, okay, I know she's mad. I know she disapproves of her, but I have no idea what she's saying. And so it took me a while to get into the flow of the language. That was, ye oh gosh, I think I just had Shaylee. So I was in my like 22. I was really young. But the more I watched it, the more I read her books, I just fell in love with Jane Austen. And this started it all. I love this version. I think Mr. Collins is hilarious in this one. Um, Oh, yeah, so good. But, um, yes, Pride and Prejudice, it has a tug in my heart for sure. But my all-time favorite, my all-time favorite timepiece movie is Anne of Green Gables. I fell in love with Anne, and then in here is Anne of Avonlea as well. It's the whole, and it's the whole collection. I fell in love with this, watching it on, um, uh, PBC, PBS, no, PBS with my mom. I don't even know how old. I was little, I, maybe 11. I started watching her, 11 or 12, when it would come on. And this is, this box set is all of them. It's Anne of Green Gables, Anne of Avonlea, and then the later version of um, the continuing story, like when they get married and such, which is okay, but I... I, I don't watch that one often. I always lean towards Anne of Green Gables and Anne of Avonlea. I fell in love with Anne. I wanted to be her best friend. Um, my mom, this is where it started, my mom and I watching timepiece movies. And now we always bounce off movies together, um, English movies all the time. Did you watch this? Did you watch that? So, but this started it all. I enjoy Anne. I love reading Anne of Green Gables. The book is definitely different than the movie. Um... And I love both, but um, I love Anne so much. Um, I love her. And I just think she's a sassy little thing and intelligent and how, you know, people didn't like some of that about her, but how it really carried her far in life. And I just, 
enjoy this movie. I enjoy the story. I love Anne. Oh my goodness. Um, so this is my all-time favorite time piece movie, if you want to call it that. Um, but yeah, so, but I like, I enjoy all, um, timepiece movies and shows. I love, um, Downton Abbey. I love, um, Call the Midwife. Um, he knew he was right. Um, oh my gosh, there's countless. I've seen so many, um, there's so many shows, like, on PBS that they air, um, like Mr. Salt, um, what's that store one? See, now I can't even think now that I'm talking to you. The Paradise, Selfridges, whatever that, whatever that show is with the store, Mr. Selfridge. Um, there, there's so many, um, there's so many British shows that I have seen. Daniel Deronde is one, um, Angel. Name it, I've probably seen it. Me and my mom have bounced off. The Mill and the Floss, is that one? Um, oh, there is a ton that I've seen. But if you like one, put it down in the comments because if I haven't seen it yet, I want to watch it. I, my mom and I love watching these and we bounce them off to each other. So these are my timepiece movies that I own that I love. And I, and I just want to get this collection growing. I know I could always Netflix them and watch them on YouTube, but there's just something about having them that just... I like to have that I could just grab and you know but I love timepiece movies and these are my favorite all right guys I just wanted to share that with you hope you're all doing good bye